Okay, I clearly have a ton of chores I need to get done, um, but for Riker's lunch today, paper plates. Um, I am serving up some mangoes and some tortilla chips. I'm also playing, have you guys ever, like if you're a 90s baby, did you ever watch um, A Pup Named Scooby-Doo? It's like one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> Okay. She's sick. Mmm, nah. I need to clean up this table too. Yep, cheese stick, chips, and mango. Nummy. I also picked up um, some lavender and white sage. So when it warms up, hopefully in the next week or so, um, I am going to sage the house. Um, I, I like to do it just to get rid of like any negative energy, like especially after the winter. Oh my gosh, I totally left my fridge open. See, I'm telling you guys, ever since my migraine, my brain has just not been working anyway i like to sage the house um i did pick up some incense as well um my favorite used to be the dragon's blood um i just found that it was just too it was too much for me the other day like i've been finding lately this is super weird but like a lot of scents make me nauseous and i don't know if it's just like an after effect of COVID and like my like scent changing. I'm definitely not pregnant, but like that's what it is like. It's like almost like these like pregnancy aversions to smells. It's so weird. Um, anyway, yeah, that's what I've been experiencing lately as far as smells. So I lit my favorite incense and I was like, blast terrible. And I've been diffusing lavender and sandalwood a lot lately instead. So anyway, all right. So I'm gonna, I've been using this um, cold brew coffee maker for the past couple of weeks. Um, for me, there's like a little bit of a learning curve because as you can see, I still am getting like a ton of grounds like on the bottom, but this thing was only like $17 on Amazon. I will leave it, leave it linked down below for you guys. But I was buying the Stoke or Stock coffee, however you pronounce it. I was buying that, and that even the unsweetened one has carbs in it, which is ridiculous. Like there should not be any carbohydrates in coffee, in iced coffee, unless you add like a creamer to it or whatever it may be. Um, so anyways, it was just added carbohydrates and it was super expensive. It was like $5 per container totally outrageous so now i just buy a huge bag of ground coffee from um, sam's club or costco and then i will fill the middle part of this up i'm going to show you guys how i do it here in a sec um, but it saves me so much money and this huge um, bag of coffee is ten dollars at sam's club Yeah, yeah, buddy. I already cut up some mango for you. This mango is on your plate over there. Mmm, num. Yeah. 
there you go. Um, so I realized that this is like a massive amount of mango and my kids will never eat all of those mangoes before they go bad. So I am going to try and make some dehydrated mango strips. Um, I'm gonna look up a recipe. I do have a dehydrator. So fingers crossed, I'm able to make something work out of that. Um, I clearly still need to take down some of my Easter decor. Um, I've just, like I said, like with, with like not feeling well, I haven't really been feeling up to it. So, um, anywho, okay, so I'm gonna diffuse some, it's like eucalyptus and sandalwood, is that a thing? Oh, Riker, okay, that is my Eminem Rustic schedule and he just completely smushed it. Um, Anyways, all right. These are my favorites lately. Sandalwood has been a go-to of mine. Sandalwood and lavender. I do love the Now Essential Oils brand. I feel like they're very affordable and high grade. Um, I did used to work for a vitamin company like back in high school. And um, we, during training, um, had to like, um, I have to put you guys in the cover pan. During training for this vitamin company that I worked for, we had to like kind of learn about some of the products um, and now Food Brands is very reputable. So I've just always trusted them. Anyway, so that's just, that's why I don't do Young Loving stuff is because I just swear by this stuff. So um, anyway, I have been diffusing sandalwood and lavender. I don't feel like there is enough in there. Already smelling way better. I'm also planning on learning how to make some candles because I will show you guys. I'm gonna put these essential oils. Oh, um, I want to learn how to make. Ooh, this one's very sandalwoody. Okay, this one has. Yeah, lavender and sandalwood. So good. It's one of my most favorite candles. I get it from um, from Home Goods, and as you guys know, like you can't find things in Home Goods year round. Um, anyways, oh, I love this stuff. So I need to learn how to make my own candles, and then also the eucalyptus and spearmint. Oh, that's a great one. That's a really great one. Um, I do not have a. Is there a spearmint like essential oil? I don't know. I've never heard of it. But working on being just a li little bit more of a plant mom, a little bit more of a hippie mom, um, and learning like all of the things. A couple of books that I have actually left over from, if you guys don't know this, I was actually in dietetic school for um, about three years. Um, so I do have some leftover books from when I was in dietetic school. Um, this one is very interesting. And so is this one. Very interesting. In fact, changed my life in college when I read about them. All right, I need to get this house cleaned up. I need to edit um, a couple of videos and photos and get all of the things done. So, mm. and time to record some Anthem with Morgan videos and kick some butt. Okay, I just got done organizing out this snack chore. Um, I usually buy a bunch of stuff in bulk from Sam's Club slash Costco slash like Walmart, depending on what I'm looking for, what time of year it is. Um, but right now in the snack chore, um, this is what we've got going on. Okay, so this is how I lay out the Slim Jims so that they're easy to grab. 
Um, I do have fruit snacks in here right now. This is something that I will be swapping out for some zero sugar added, um, like fruit leathers that I found at Sam's Club today. So I'm going to swap those out soon. These are keto chocolates and we get these at Costco. Um, these are good in a pinch when you're just craving something chocolatey. Um, so anyways, we always keep some keto snacks in here. Uh, my mom came, so we still have leftover snacks from when she was here. Um, and she had gotten the kids like mini chips ahoy. Um, and then got them um, a pack of Rice Krispies. I almost always have Rice Krispies in the house because it is just one of those like car snacks. It's really easy to grab. And since we're on the road a lot and doing deliveries and things like that, I can kind of use this as an incentive as, if they're good. Um, I like next time I do this drawer, I think I'm just gonna do all crackers here, skinny pop, veggie straws, the fruit leathers, um, and I'm gonna get some bare apple chips. Um, and maybe something a little bit healthier to replace the Rice Krispies. But, um, so anyways, I just get this like multi-pack usually from Sam's Club. It has like Cheez-Its, some kind of cookies in there, graham cracker, the Scooby Snack graham crackers. Um, and then I've got Skinny Pop. What I like about the individual bags is that they actually stay <laughs> a lot more fresh. Um, and my kids don't go through an entire bag before it goes stale. So um, I do like these smaller packages, especially for like grabbing on the go. Um, I did have a huge thing of veggie straws here. So I separated them out into these reusable baggies. Um, I will leave these linked down below. I did get them from Amazon and Walmart, um, and I've been loving them. These are seriously the best things in sliced bread. They save me so much money on baggies. I use these all the time. Um, and like I said, then we've got more so like the treats over here. So we've got Rice Krispies, um, leftover crackers. This is something else that I'll get the kids a lot are these peanut butter crackers. Um, and I've got some Nutter Butters in here as well, but i um, hoping to kind of like switch this over into some healthier stuff. Like I said, like dehydrated fruit, um, whether it be homemade or getting like the bare apple chips from Sam's Club and Costco. Costco does have the little bags um, for a lot cheaper than like Target, for example. But anyway, so that's what my snack drawer is looking like always empty wrappers in here of some sort and there is a child lock on this um and kaya can get into it but she is better at regulating herself with the snacks than Riker. Riker will just like when before we had this lock on here he would just help himself um anytime he wanted so now it locks i do need like maybe a little bit stronger of a lock or like one on both sides but anyway yeah we are loving this snack drawer. It's funny because um, when the neighbor kids come over too, they know where our snack drawer is and they will just go right for it and help themselves, which is exactly what it's here for. So anyways, we love it. It's working out really well. Boom. Okay, I just, I got a notification on like Monday seeing my Peloton shipment was like out or will be out for delivery on Thursday. And I got overly excited and then I realized it was just my accessories order, um, but I'm going to unbox it right now for you guys. So Mike and I did get a Peloton. So um, we each got a pair of cycling shoes. Anyway, so we both got a pair of cycling shoes. So one of these is for him. Yeah, this one is Mike's and this one is mine. I will unbox those in just a second. Um, heart rate monitor. Um, this is the bike mat for the bike to sit on. And water bottle. Water bottle. Um, this is headphones. Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. Oh, that's fine. Can I see that? Um, another heart rate monitor and another set of headphones. We did get the family pack because both Mike and I are gonna be using it. Um, and then um, three pound weights. So yeah, they are little three pound weights each. Okay, so I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna unbox some of these for you guys. This is... Um, it's called a, oh, I see, it's a glass bottle, yeah. I was like, a glass water bottle? 
I'm such an idiot. Why did I not? Okay, so it's just like this like rubber sleeve over a glass oh. water bottle. Oh. Sweet. So I got two of those, one for me, one for my um I'm really interested to see what these heartbeat monitors look like. Because both Mike and I, I have an Apple Watch, Mike has a Mike has a whoop strap. Um, what? So I'm interested to see. Okay. Oh, just wait, just wait, just wait. We don't want to destroy all of that. Um, okay, so these are the heart rate monitors. Um, I am assuming they... I don't know. That doesn't look like it goes on your wrist. That looks really gigantic to be on your wrist. Anyways, that's what it looks like. I don't know where you put it. I'll figure that out later. Did you find your water bottles? Yeah. Um, and then the earphones. Where it says, yeah. Should we go fill them up? Mm -hmm. Say more, please. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are the cycling shoes. <laughs> I'm going to be the cutest in these shoes ever. What do you think, bud? Do you like them? All right, let's go change your butt because you're very stinky. Yeah, those are, uh-oh. Yep, those are mommy's shoes. Mommy's shoes. Should we go change your butt? Mommy's shoes. No, he's going to run away with him. That's good. All right, you guys. I am sitting down and editing this vlog. I think Rick has a very sassy butt today. Um, so I'm in my like editing attire. Um, I am gonna have to end this vlog there because we're at almost 20 minutes and I have an entire other vlog for you guys basically ready to go. Um, and that includes a recipe for like one of my most favorite go-to like spring and summer meals. Like just something super easy, like sitting by the poolside or the lake or whatever it may be. Super low carb, healthy, yummy and fresh. I'm sorry, my hair is super crazy. Um, anyways, I just wanted to pop on because I needed to end this video there. Um, I'm super excited to be getting my Peloton in, which now is coming in next Monday. Um, so I need to just mentally prepare for kicking my own butt and getting back into working out. I have honestly worked out only like a couple of times since I got back from vacation and I was working out almost every single day for a half hour um, before I left for Mexico. So. I need to get back on the workout train. I've been struggling as you guys have kind of heard in other, my other vlogs since I got home, like getting back into routine and then um, I've been struggling with this really awful headache. So yeah, buddy, what's wrong? Oh, you want me to come? All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the vlog there for today. I hope you enjoyed all of like the randomness in this vlog. Um, I do have, I, I will upload that other one um, probably next Monday because Friday I have a like daily routine for you guys. Yes, do you want a snack? I have a daily routine going up for you guys, um, walking you through my like step-by-step -step, like routine of working from home um, and like owning a business and some of the behind the scenes YouTube stuff. So anyways, I will see you guys on Friday for that stay at home mom slash work from home mom daily routine and Monday for the other vlog with a really yummy recipe. Okay, bye guys.